Hi friends, and thanks so much for being here today. If you are a beginning stamper, or you like to make clean and simple cards, or you like to make quick and easy cards, I have some projects today that I think you will want to watch along for. Now, even if you like to make more elaborate cards, you can definitely learn some things from this bit video. I'll be sharing some quick and easy techniques and some design ideas that you can use even on more elaborate cards with more layers. Let's get started. Over the next few minutes, we are going to create six cards together using just one stamp set, white cardstock, and three colors of ink. The three colors of ink I have here are Parakeet Party, Orchid Oasis, and Polished Pink. Now, just using these few supplies, you're going to see really how much we can do when we keep things simple and repeat our colors. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll bring in some scrap paper here. I am going to be stamping off the edge of my card several times. So I'll bring my scrap paper in here. And let's start with just a really simple one. All of these are pretty simple. But we're going to start with a simple one. For all of these, I have decided to keep the greetings in the same color Orchid Oasis. Now, if you would want to do something similar to what I'm doing here, but switch up your colors, you can do even more. But I just decided to keep the color scheme the same. So I'm stamping the, all of the greetings in Orchid Oasis. Now what I want to do is add some leaves and I'm going to add, I'm debating which stamp I want to use here. I am going to use this stamp right here. Now you'll notice I have mounted stamps on both sides of a lot of my blocks. I have most of this stamp set on blocks sitting here. And if you don't have a ton of blocks in your collection, this is a great way to get some more use out of them without having to take your stamps on and off every time. So here's what I am going to do with this. Now, I don't want the very end of that stem down there. So when I ink it, I am going to ink just down to the base of the leaves. Let's see if you can see that there without the glare. And not that single stem down at the bottom. So I am going to do that several times. We'll stamp this once up here. And now I want to stamp two different times down here. And I'm going to stamp that close to the greeting so that it looks like it is coming out of the greeting, actually. We'll stamp it again here. And then let's get another little leaf stamp. We have lots of leaves and lots of flowers in the set. So this is the leaf I have on the other side. And I'm going to ink it the same way. I just want to ink down to the base of the leaf, but I want to get a little bit of color variation. And you're going to notice this quite a bit on these on these cards I'm creating over the next several minutes, I'm going to do a lot of stamping off where I ink my stamp, I stamp off onto my scrap paper, and then I stamp onto my project so I get that lighter shade of color. So if you are starting out, this is a great way. If you don't have tons of ink colors in your collection, this is a really great way to get more use out of those colors that you do have. So I'll fill in just a little bit more with this lighter color and this leaf stamp. And we are going to do one more thing and then this simple card will be finished. So I love that the stamp set has for this stamp right here, we have this stamp that adds flowers to the foliage. So I am going to ink this stamp up and add flowers to those first leaves that we stamped. And you will see how quickly this one comes together. So here is our first card just saying hello. Now, as we go through, I'll share a couple of really simple ways to step these up. But for most of these, I am stamping right on my white card base. Sometimes I find that I really enjoy when I st step back a little bit and just make some clean and simple cards. 
Okay, now let's make another one. This one I'm actually going to create just with one color. We are going to stick with Orchid Oasis on this one. And I'm going to use the stamp that says, let's celebrate. What I want to do is stamp this basically in the center of the card. Now, if you happen to have a Stamparatus, you might find that you like to use it for this, but keeping it simple, wanted to show this in a way that beginners could create it. And if you're a beginner, you may not have a Stamparatus yet. So what I did, I stamped once and then I stamped repeatedly going down to show that that color is fading. Now I inked it up again. I'll show you again. I inked it up, stamped on my scrap paper to get that first dark ink off. Now we are going to do the same thing as we go up. Now, friends, this is not going to be perfect. That is okay. There is no perfection in handmade cards or handmade anything for that matter. It is going to be one of a kind. Sometimes it is not going to be straight, but focus on the big picture. And what I find is usually if something happens that I'm like, oh, that doesn't really look great. I just keep stamping. And by the end, typically, you just don't even notice that it all blends and it looks great. Now I'm going to add one little item of interest to this and it is this cute flower stamp. I thought this was really unique and really pretty. So I'm going to stamp this once up here, stamp it a second time with that stamped off color. We'll stamp once down here. And then I have another stamp that fills in that little area in the middle. So what I'm going to do for that, I'll ink it up, that little triangular piece, and I want this to be a little bit lighter. So I'll stamp it here. And then I'm actually going to stamp this one. Am I? Oh, now I'm second guessing myself. Okay. So I'm going to see, I'm going to do the same thing. I stamped off. I'm going to stamp here. And then to get it even lighter than this one, which we had stamped off once, then I'll stamp there the second time. Okay, so here is a really simple one, all one color. I just used one greeting and then these flower stamps. And I think that is really cute. Okay, let's move on to another one. Let's bring in some more color. And this one, we're gonna do quite a bit of stamping, but it is, like all of these, it's very simple and anyone can do this. So what I want to do is I have several foliage stamps. I'm going to use this leaf, this leaf, and then the one I had used at the beginning that I can stamp those flowers on top. So here's what I'm going to do. I, it doesn't really matter which one I start with, but I am just going to start stamping these across the bottom of this card. I like to change the angle a little bit. I like to maybe move up and down a little bit so they don't all look exactly the same. I want this to look natural when I get done. And now I am going to, you know what? I'm gonna wait for a second. We will come back to that. Let's do the same thing with this one. Now for this one, I'm going to stick with Orchid Oasis, I decided. So we'll stamp this several times. And I do want to leave some spaces where I'll have a chance to stamp that third one. Now I'm going to fill in the bottom a little bit just so we don't have open space down here at the bottom. And now let's stamp this other leaf with some polished pink and fill in some of these spaces. So you start to see here this coming together. Now we could leave it just like this and add a greeting, which we will do here in a minute. But I have decided I, with this stamping off, the to, to show what you can do with stamping off, I'm going to go over again and I am going to add some stamped off leaves up a little bit higher. Now, you may be asking, well, why didn't I just stamp the first time? 
and then stamp a second time. Okay, this way it takes a little bit more time. And the reason is down here at the bottom when I was stamping off, for example, on this one, okay, when I stamped here, the ink from the top half of the stamp came off on my card, but on the bottom half, it may have come off on my paper. Some of it probably didn't come off right at the edge. If I had moved up and stamped again, it would have a funny pattern from where the edge of the card had been. So when I am stamping off, a lot of times I like to do it this way. If, I, if the first one had been on the edge of the card, I just like to start over and then stamp off here and I can do my lighter image up there on the card after that. Let's do a little bit more stamping off. We'll add a few of these parakeet party ones. I think this is a really nice light color of green. Thought it would be fun to keep my colors nice and bright on these. Now let's add a few of the stamped off Orchid Oasis ones. Then we will add our greeting and you'll get to see the finished look on this one. As you know, if you follow along with my channel, you see lots of techniques and fun things to learn. And sometimes, I, like I said, I just like to step back a little. Let's just keep it simple and see what we can do when we focus on the basics, the stamps, the ink, and the paper. All right, let's add the flowers to the top of these green ones. And I think I will do that with my polished pink. Okay, so on this one, everything I'm stamping is right there on the card. I'm not going off any of the edges. So I am totally okay with doing my stamp off right after that. Same thing here. As long as it doesn't go off the edge of the card the first time, then I can just go on up and stamp the second time. I have one more over here I haven't done, so I'll stamp off here and stamp right up there. Now let's add our greeting. I am going to use the one for this one that says, there is beauty in everything. Now, if you have a stamparatus or if you don't know what that is, you definitely need to know. I will put a link in the video description below to my tutorial that shows all about the stamparatus. It is an amazing tool. It is if you struggle with getting clear greetings and wishing you could stamp a second time to fix it, uh, the Stamparatus solves that problem. So I will put that link in the video description below for you. Okay, let's see. Let's do a fun little take on a foliage stamp. And this is one that if you follow along with me, this may not be new. But we are going to create a wreath out of this leaf. I just love to take foliage stamps or uh, other kinds of stamps too, uh, different things, but to stamp them in a circular pattern and end up with the look of a wreath. So let's do this. Now I'm completely eyeballing this. If you do not feel comfortable eyeballing this, you could very lightly trace a circle on your card and stamp over it. Uh, if you use a pencil, if any of those lines are showing at the end, of course, you could go back and erase them. So here you can see the basics of my wreath. Now, it looks a little bit triangular to me. Does it look a little bit triangular to you? Uh, so here's what I'll do to fix that. I'll go back and I'll just add in some things Add in some more leaves in certain areas to help it become a little bit more circular. Okay, there's always a way to fix it. And again, we're not working for perfection, but uh, we can make it a little bit more circular. Okay, and let's see over here. We'll add one more. And what I find is the more I do this, the more I think, oh, it needs something there. Oh, it needs something there. And at some point, you just call it good. I think that looks nice. 
Once I add the rest, I'm not going to focus on the wreath not being perfectly circular. So I'm going to add the greeting to the center. This one says, you are simply fabulous. I like with this parakeet party, this light green that I can stamp directly over it with this orchid oasis and you can see it nicely. When you can stamp over your other colors, you don't have to worry so much about needing layers and needing to cut things out. So it can really make it simpler and save you some time. Now, I could leave it the way it was, but I thought it would be really nice if I add some little kind of berries to the wreath. So our little berries that we're adding are these cute little hearts or the little flowers. Okay. So here is a fourth card. We're done with four already. Now let's step this one up just a touch, just a touch. So for this one, I have a piece of cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter. I'm going to stamp on this and then add it to my card base. And for this one, this is going to be a little bit of a unique idea, but I wanted to give you some ways to use stamps that maybe you just haven't thought about before. So I am going to stamp this cute little flower right in the center. And now I am going to stamp the You Are Simply Fabulous stamp several times. Uh, this is the only thing I'm going to add to the rest of the card, but I'm going to do it in kind of an interesting way. And you will see how this comes together. So I stamped once directly out to the right. And then I'm going to keep stamping as that ink gets lighter. To make this easier, let's turn it sideways and stamp once there. And here, as I'm coming back onto my project, I have to stamp off, otherwise I'm going to get funny color lines down here. So one, two, three, and there's my fourth one. Turn it again. Two, three, four. And one up here. Two, three, and four. Okay, so we could put this this direction. We can flip it over this way. If I think it looks better one way than the other, that's the way I, I would put it up. I think I like it this way. I have no idea why, but we don't have to have reasons in card making. What we like is what we like, okay? So now I can mount this to the front of my card base. Now I can mount it directly using my seal or my seal plus tape runner, or what I think is really fun, especially when I'm doing simple cards, is to pop it up with some of my dimensionals. You could use as many or as few as you like. Some, some of, I think it's funny when I hear people are dimensional over you, they, they declare themselves over users of dimensionals. That's totally okay. You use however many you want. Should have grabbed my take your pick tool. It really helps to put these on and take them off. But then we can mount this to our card base and just adds a fun little touch, okay? So I can add, I'll probably add a few gems to these as well after we're done, just for a little sparkle. But there is our fifth card. Now for this last one, this has a fun technique that I think you're going to, to enjoy seeing. Let's take our card base, but I've pulled in a post-it note and we're gonna do a little bit of masking here. Masking is where you cover up a part of your project so that you can do some stamping and then you remove the mask and you get some type of effect, okay? You can use this for a lot of different reasons. But what we're going to do here is stamp around the edge. I am going to use this leaf stamp 
with the pointed leaves and I am going to stamp all around the edges of this post-it note. On the corners, I am going to stamp diagonally. Now let's turn this and I think I'll actually do the bottom next because this is basically the same as what I just did. I am moving the leaf stamp up and down some so that's not exactly the same all the way across. And you'll be able to see that a little bit better here when I do the sides. So I could leave this the way it is if I wanted to, we can lift this up and see the effect that we're creating, but I want to create a full square. So let's finish off the sides. And here you'll be able to see where I'm varying how far that leaf stamp shows outside of the post-it note. And the fun part is always the big reveal when you take the mask off. That's when, that's when sometimes it takes your breath away or sometimes it's just kind of like, wow, that's really cool. Okay, so we'll remove our post-it note. We can save this and reuse it on another project or on more of the same card if I want to. And how I'm going to finish this, I am just going to stamp this one greeting that I really love. This just saying hello right there in the middle. And it, I'm afraid I'm not getting my stamp inked evenly. Okay, so just saying hello right there in the middle. Now, I thought I was going to be done here and now I'm second guessing myself. Do you ever do that? I think I want a couple of flowers. Let's add a few flowers just for fun. We'll add one there, add a second one up there and one down here, okay? So let me bring these cards back in so that you can see what we have just created with one stamp set, white cardstock, and those three colors of ink. One way I love to use cards like this when I create a bunch of different cards that are similar, if they coordinate uh, is to make card sets. These make really nice gifts. So you can make six like this, package them with some envelopes, put a little ribbon around them and tie them up. Or we have card boxes that you can package them up. But these make really nice gifts. They also make really nice cards to stock your collection that don't take a lot of time to create, don't take a lot of supplies to create, and then your collection can be stocked and you can have cards ready to send out at any time. So if you're interested in any of, any of the products I use today, I'll have links in the video description below. I appreciate you being here. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.